What you see here is a, a prototype of a flight display system that we envision to be 10 to 15 years out. And when you ask yourselves, well, who will be the pilots in that time frame? Well, they're eight years old today. And when you ask yourselves, what have they grown up with? Well, they've grown up with smartphones and tablets. So this behaves just like a tablet would. It has full touchscreen capability. We want to reduce the learning curve for a system like this so it's highly intuitive to a future pilot to uh, jump on board and quickly access information when it's needed and uh, discard it when it's not needed. So what's driving all these visuals is, is really PDAS technology, F-35. So what you see here today, we could quite frankly do today. What you see in the background is daylight television. Those are provided by two optical sensors in the nose of the aircraft, again, F-35 technology. We're just choosing to show it as a backdrop to our primary flight display. So here, if we're flying this aircraft in real life, we'd have this mountainous terrain. Uh, and this urban environment beneath us, is, again, it's just a backdrop to, uh, to the primary flight display. But what's interesting about this is, if this becomes too uh, distracting to the pilot, there's too much information being fed to him at any point in time, well, keep in mind, this is just a digital representation of information the aircraft is already receiving. So if he wants to declutter down, they can go to something like this. It's just a digital representation of the information the aircraft is already receiving. It's how do you want to interpret that information. Again, you could go to a, maybe a little bit more fidelity where you keep the screen predominantly dark, but you have uh, synthetic vision as a backdrop to your primary flight displays. You could do something like that. Or if you're flying at night and you want your imager to provide low light amplification, NVG in this case, uh, we could do something like that as well. And you can also have your imager provide you a mid-wave IR or a FLIR type display or a FUD solution which combines low light amplification and mid-wave IR or even a synthetic view of the world. And this cockpit would negate the use of NVG? Uh, it could, absolutely. Uh, if you had the capability to see the world virtually through a window this big, it begins to open up the, di the dialogue, do you need to fly with NVGs? I mean, that's something that the requirements will have to dictate, but it certainly opens the possibility that you don't need uh, NVGs anymore in your helmets. Brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.